All right, so here's just a quick demo on how to change up your contact pages on your Flatsum themed e-commerce websites in WordPress. So if you haven't made it this far on your website, then I invite you to check out our whole tutorial on how to create an online store e-commerce website in WordPress 2017, and that'll be linked down below. All right, so we're just gonna click edit page at the top. And then we're gonna click UX Builder because this would be impossible to edit just about you could do it that way like you can change the text but it's a lot more fun to use the UX builder that Flatsum gives us and you can see there's a map but right away it goes away and it says oops something went wrong and that's because the first thing we need to do is enter a Google Maps API key so what you want to do is open up your site in a new browser tab and then you can hover on the Flatsum button in your upper navigation and hover on Advanced and click on Google APIs. So you're going to get taken to the Advanced section right here. And what you want to click now is just, you can generate one here, click Google Maps API. So Google now requires you to visit this page to use their maps um, so you know about their demos and just so you know about their guidelines and, and more stuff like that. Next, we're going to click Get a Key. And then we're going to click the drop down arrow and you'll get this uh, grayed out tab for create a new project. So click that. And I'm going to click create and enable API. Maybe we can rename it so we can rename it as well. So we can call this online store e-commerce website. And I already did this, but I think you get unlimited API keys or at least a couple of them. Create and enable. Google is going to approve us, hopefully. We are good Googlers, and you're all set. You're ready to start developing. All right, so we'll just click Copy now. And you can feel free to read through Google's guidelines more, um, like to improve your app security, restrict this key's usage in the API console. Good to check that out at a later time. For now, finish. Come back, and in this gray box, just paste your new API and save all changes. Very good options updated. Now we'll go back and we'll check out the contact page again. And we can see that something still went wrong. So we're going to refresh. And so while our maps gets itself working, Google might take a second or two to register your API key on the front end here. While that's taking place, we're going to see how to edit the FAQ and the send us an email. So let's first do send us an email. All right, so now we can just click edit page and we can jump right to the edit with UX builder section. All right, looks like the maps might already be working. We'll see in a second. Let's click on the send us an email section now. And because it's UX builder, you can just click on any text and go right ahead and edit it on the left. So we can change that up, make it customized. Then we can click in the text here, the text section for the contact form. And we can see it's just a blank text box, uh, like a placeholder. So we want to replace it with an actual contact form. So let's click on the gear and delete. Okay, perfect. Now we're gonna open up this column on the right again and there's the title, send us a note, we want to add to the column. Click Add to Column. We're going to search for Contact. Sorry, we're going to search for Form. There it is. CF7. Click on that. And now we can just choose a contact form. So it looks like the plugin, uh, like it usually does so kindly, already made us a contact form. Just pick it, and then Apply, and Update. And if you want to know how to add specific fields to your contact form, just let me know in the comments. That part is looking good though. That'll definitely get the job done for us. So now let's see how to edit the frequently asked questions. Once again, we can just click on a title and edit the text really easily. So this is pretty uh, perfect frequently asked questions. But where it says, please read our FAQ before sending us a message, I don't like that because it makes people think that like we don't want messages from them. Um, so I'm just gonna click on that text editor and gear, delete, and it's gone. Perfect. 
And now you can just open up the column on the left if you'd like, or you can click on top of it. If we open on the left, we can see this is called an accordion. So we're going to now learn how to edit the accordion. And you can go ahead and get really deep within the stack of pancakes, or it might be easier just to click on top. When you click on an accordion panel, it'll open up the question and the answer, and now it's really easy to change it. So you can say, like, what are the delivery charges for the e-commerce website? Then just click on the text and go ahead and add them. Just make sure to keep those P tags in there so that the font will stay the same. All right, and then click Apply and Update. There you go. If you wanted to add some text back that you might have deleted, like right in between the title and the accordion, then you can just use the stack of pancakes on the left, open up the column, and then just make sure you're in the right section, like right here under column, and click Add to Column. Now we can click Text. The paragraph is good. Apply. And then we'll write out something a little bit nicer. And apply, and then you can always drag it back to the top. And there's your little uh, hello to readers. Now let's update. And so we're done with the FAQ and the send us a note. And now we're going to look at the map. So let's go ahead and refresh the site on the front end, and we'll see if the map's working. All right, dashboard, front end, contact page. And it looks like, thankfully, our Google API started working. So this is great. Um, this is like a uh, Central Park tennis center where I played one time. So that's kind of uh, interesting. All right, I'm not sure how it knows that. Great clay courts though. And so we're gonna actually um, change that. And to change up your map, it's a little bit, a little bit techy, not too techy, but I'll show you how to do it right now. Just click on the map pancake, click on the gear and click options. And we're gonna change the latitude and the longitude. So how would you ever know the right ones? Well, you just have to open up your Google and search for your address. So in my case, I work from Chelsea Market. Pretty simple. You can just click on the map once you've found your location. And now click on share, embed. Sorry, just click on share and use the share link. And it's gonna have a set of coordinates which you can find on the link. So the first one is longitude. It's really easy just to copy that. And this is the techie part. Then you come back and you just, well, you can double click and it'll hopefully highlight the latitude. And then you can delete it. Let's try that again. I'm going to highlight it and then paste. Perfect. Okay, so that's a little bit tricky with these little bars. Now we'll go for the longitude, after the comma, and before the next comma. So it has this negative sign right here. Just takes some really precise um, cursor work, but we can all do it. And now let's try to highlight our longitude. A little bit feisty. Once you get it highlighted, though, just right click and paste. And we have to get rid of that minus sign. If there's two of them, it won't work. And bravo, it looks like it's starting to work. We just need to reduce the zoom a little. So I'm not sure why it's like zooming in weird places. Let's just click apply and update. And let's see if that's one of those things that'll just figure itself out once we refresh. And it is. All right, very good. Good job, guys. So to make our map perfect, we need to change the zoom a little bit. Let's um, all right. Let's refresh this UX builder because it's acting all crazy. 
Perfect. Now let's click map gear options and let's zoom out a little bit. All right. Perfect. And now we're just going to change the content right here. Click on the text and you can just grab the title of your location right from Google, including its address. All right. So we'll copy that, come back. And if you double click on the text, it'll open up this nice little visual editor. You can easily paste over what's in there. You can even add another line. Chelsea Market, YouTube Studios, whatever you want to do. You can get rid of that extra space. That part is totally up to you. Um, I just don't like getting up before nine usually, so that's good. And yeah, we'll stay open late then. Okay, now we can just click OK, apply, update, and you can also move this little content box by going to the map options and changing the X and Y position of it as such. There we go, we'll cover up New Jersey over here. All right, so there you have it. We're gonna apply, update. Keep in mind, because it's UX Builder, you can create uh, short pages or really long pages with tons of information. It's totally up to you. And once you have all this set up, it's totally free to create like, tons and tons of content and really make your contact page amazing. For now, this should work. And that's it for now. Make sure to stay tuned for our next videos where we're going to create the About page, our Stores page, and have a lot more fun learning Flatsum. All right, guys, let me know any questions in the comments. Please rate the video. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon.